Hello and welcome everyone to another StarCraft 2 England cast. Today I have got a sweet awesome game. It is game 2 of a best of 3 between Empire's Braddock who is the red Terran player and Millennium Adelskar who is the orange Zerg in oh, orange Zerg orange Protoss player pardon me in the bottom position. So this is a TVP and that of course means that this is going to be a pretty epic game. It's a matchup I don't cast that often and in all honesty, it's because it's one of my least understood matchups. But I mean, this is—it's a really thought, well thought out kind of build order and things like that. I mean, on Braddock's side, he's going to rush for that stim to basically get a good counter to gateway units. Then Adele has to counter the bio ball with either High Templar or Colossi, and that's sort of the longer game plan. And I mean, the only downside to this matchup in terms of viewing is you do get a bit of a dead period where. There's suddenly a kind of an early game engagement, a mid game engagement, and then the late game engagement, as opposed to certain other matchups where things can be a bit more hectic or crazy and random timings come out. But for the moment, both these players are going pretty normal. Do you see Braddock walling off? Which is something you don't always see. Um, there is options to not wall off, so that's really quite interesting. We do have Adele just going absolutely standard. No gas down yet from either player. We'll probably see the first gases drop down fairly soon. Um, if normal timing, there we go, with the gas from Adele, Scott, we'll probably still see Braddock take his gas shortly, I would imagine, um, obviously waiting until the very last moment, and actually maybe we're not going to see a gas, maybe we're going to see a, neck, a command center first, that is absolutely insane from Braddock, and a really, really bold move, but if it works, and Adele doesn't really push in to deal huge amounts of damage to this, then obviously Braddock is going to be in an amazing position mid-game, his economy is going to be so much better, and essentially Adele will be playing catch up. There comes down the barracks and for the moment I mean the gateway's only just finished, we've got the cybercore on its way. So while we're waiting to see how this pans out, let me just use this time to say if you like my videos, please give them a thumbs up. That would be super, super awesome. Um, it would help me a load. Also, if you do like my casting and you like watching high-level pro games, then subscribe to my channel because I try and get new games up every single day of the week and I wouldn't want you to miss some cool events. Um, and lastly, leave a comment or tweet me or something because the interaction is sweet as. So, now I've had a chance to say that. Um, we've got two racks out for Braddock, which is fairly normal. We do have the, well, literally nothing but the Cybercore and Gateway here from Adele, who isn't Chrono Boosting out yet, does have enough energy. We'll be interested to see where this next Chrono Boost goes, whether it's on the Cybernetics Core. There we go, so this is basically trying to rush out the Warp Gate tech, no kind of super fast Z at Stalker pressure. The second Command Center is done for Braddock now. He does have two barracks following this up, but no gas yet, so this is going to be a really Marine heavy play. Stim delayed because of that, and essentially... Mass Marines are quite good, they're, they're really really good, they do a lot of damage and they can be a bit awkward for Protoss players to deal with at times, especially once these bunkers start going down. Braddock only getting a one at the moment, may get a second one at some point, but he hasn't actually scouted yet what's going on and may not even be able to get in, that SCV completely denied, so that is blind of everything and that is never where you want to be as any player in this game. Scouting information is so important because Essentially, the only thing I know, think for sure that Braddock knows is that there isn't a command center down there, but I think one could slip out. Anyway, we do have the bunker nearly finishing up. We have a third Rax on its way. We've got the double gas on their way down. Two orbital commands, and if we look at the work account, 26 to 21. Meanwhile, we do have a robo, a proxy robotics facility out here for Adele, whose warp gate tech is about to finish, and that is pretty funky. This is a really, really interesting build out of Adele. Can't wait to see how this plays out. The Marines are moving forward, though, and if that stalker doesn't notice, that stalker's going to go. There's huge problems, and now that robotics facility has been spotted and will be forced to cancel, and all the element of surprise Adele would have had there is gone. He's going to lose a pylon as well, which is a big loss, and now all of these units are being force back already and suddenly this is massively in Braddock's favour right now that was Adele's entire strategy gone, it was a 3 gate um, robotic facility which was proxy and now the proxy robo has gone down, well nothing fun is going to happen, we do have the nexus on its way so Adele now knows behind an economy but look here 28 to 30 but when you factor in the two mu mules look at that difference in terms of mineral income absolutely huge in Braddock's favour, he's getting down the engineering bay, getting a second bunker just ready to deal with any kind of crazy pressure that may be coming out, 
but to be honest, without that robotic facility, three gates on their own, this late aren't going to be able to do too much. The only saving grace is there's only marines here, but with the second and now a third bunker down, Adele will have an incredibly hard time punching through this. And really, Braddock with Marauder on the high ground as well, going to be in a beautiful spot right now. Um, also, just kind of boxing them not too close together to form a wall off, but basically meaning that quite a few force fields will be needed. A fourth bunk on its way down now, and I mean behind this the SCV production still going amazingly. 33 to 37, more and more going in Braddock's favour. And this is just quite a big push. Pro production has been cut by Adele right now. And that is a good force field actually, will prevent reinforcements coming down. Going to be absolutely essential here, that was really, really nice. Um, but then the downside is the high ground from here Probably can still catch anything that goes around. Adele is going to try and skirt through here, I would imagine, why the rocks are going down. But the longer it waits, the worse it will get. And that was a good little force field. Only one marine got through there. But production's still going mad. Stim is still, what, a good kind of 60 seconds away, though. So a whole minute until Stim will be done. That's going to cause the problems. Take a look down at Adele's base. Just doing everything fairly normal, getting more pylons, getting the nexus up, and really kind of just delaying as much as possible, trying to get as many warp ins as he can. But four fully loaded bunkers up, um, an awful lot of marines, a lot of SCVs there ready to repair. And good little move here. Stim, of course, getting closer and closer to finishing the longer Adele waits. And in my opinion, that's not the right move. Yes, you need the extra kind of warp ins to try and get more units to deal with this but the longer you wait the worse you'll get and something got picked off there um i think it may have been the probe or was it the pylon who knows if we take uh or the sentry i think it might have been something a bit more because 500 resources lost there which is never fun the sentry count getting really quite high a lot of zealots in there and stalkers it's a good army albedel but of course stim is now finished the plus one terran armor on its way out and of course, plus one weapons already finished, no upgrades at all there for Adele right now, and Adele biding his time, getting down a third base as well, and just really trying to contain Braddock, but there's just so many SCVs there which are massively lowering the kind of income, I mean, if we take a look here, the income is now in Adele's favour, but actually pulling back, this is a really bold move, and Really now these bunkers will probably get salvaged and all those SCVs going back to mining and if we look at the SCV count, 55 to 51 and now they're all back mining that will massively put the kind of mineral income back in favour of Braddock. Um, once this pylon goes down, um, Adele going to be a bit annoyed in terms of the supply block. We do have the first medevacs creeping out, we've got more reactors and tech labs coming down and this is starting to get a very very big force for Braddock and Adele needs to really transition out of this and for the moment just more gateways coming down. Um, the gateways and the forge is it. There's no sign of robotic facility or any kind of tech right now which is going to cause the problem once that big marine marauder ball gets high. You need the splash damage in order to deal with that. The twilight council is coming down but that's a mile away. Would also suggest that there's going to be colossi, another pylon. All of these pylons just chilling out are going to be vulnerable. We also have this third base going to be vulnerable but of course, a lot of pylons coming down once the forge is finished. We'll probably see quite a few cannons down there as well. But the medevacs are out. We do have two more on the way, as long with two more marauders. And we'll probably see Braddock kind of trying to bait some force fields out so as not to take much damage, if any at all. Really wants to just play it as safe as possible. But those stalkers are a bit faster. That's going to be really, really irritating. A couple of marines will go down, but now there are more medevacs there. Now those force fields aren't perfect. There is a gap in them, and Braddock has a way better arc right now. That stim showing why it is such an effective upgrade. Absolutely insane. Great stims for the medevacs are helping, and there's the GG from Adele, which basically means this series was taken 2 0 by Empire's Braddock. By really was amazing place so guys thumbs up the video subscribe leave a cool comment and follow me on twitter that would be awesome but most importantly i really hope you enjoyed and thank you very much for watching bye for now